Right now I'm just doing Uber Eats. This is a little, you know what I'm saying? It's not the most motivated, it's not the most exciting start to a video. As you can see, it's snowing outside. Recently things have been like really tough financially. I was so excited when I got my car and now the back end is completely totaled. I let my friend drive it to practice drive and he accidentally crashed it into three parked cars. So this year has just been obstacle on top of obstacle left and right right now my insurance is three hundred dollars a month i'm doing uber part-time i applied to at least three different jobs i got a full tank of gas right now so i mean that's really exciting i've just been praying for a blessing i've been praying for financial freedom financial stability something that'll take away all these problems because right now it's just to sure y'all feel me but right now i'm gonna go make a delivery it's really not an expensive one it's only a five dollar pickup it's about 16 minutes i gotta go to the chiropractor tomorrow morning it's for my case i'm i mean i banged myself up pretty bad in my most recent car accident i've been in I had two car accidents within a week so hang on Hello. Okay. Got the V loan on though. Pop smoke, RIP. But don't be thinking I'm broke spending money on V loan. I got this for six dollars at a at a uh, confinement shop. But I really do pray for my problems to get fixed and you know some help. I be trying to envision a better life for myself, try to speak it into existence, manifest it. I did ask God to make me stronger and to give me all these problems to solve them. It's tough. Thank you, have a good night. I just did something with the camera. I don't know if this just made it clear. I mean, you could see everything. And this is the front camera, like. Looks good to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. So, as I'm, I, I'm at a loss for words. I was just talking about I'm praying for a blessing and I'm praying for some type of financial stability. Stability. The Uber customer just talked to me, asked me how Uber worked, and then told me about his landscaping business that is an official business. And he showed me proof and just told me that I can work for him. I don't know how that just worked so fast. I'm at a loss for words. He just took my contact information down. I texted him. He got my number saved and he just offered me a job. Dude. Wow, blessings can come fast. That was quick. Wow, as he's saying this to me, if I'm looking for a serious wage and I'm like, I was just talking about that. And I was not even going to take the trip because it was only $5. Like I was just telling y'all, it's, it's not paying that well, but I still did it. I don't know, uh, uh, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you God, thank you God for that, I'm interested to see where this goes, oh my God, he seemed like a really chill dude too, bro, what, I gotta call Bajuda real quick, family, I'm back, I just made it home, I'm about to eat some fudge covered peanut butter filled cookies because I don't really have much food here. That dude ended up calling me though. Your boy just 
kind of secured a job. He said, you are a very lucky man. You caught the boss on a good night. And I was just telling y'all how much I needed a blessing. God works fast. I need discipline. And I pray for discipline to be able to keep this blessing. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to be working hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be grinding. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. Like my ribs are touching. I'm hungry. I want this. I want the money. I want to better better myself, better my family, the people around me. I want this. I need this. I don't just want it. I need it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I'm about to find some food. I'll keep you all updated, though. I think I'm really going to post this video because, like, God works fast. Like, in the name of Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, God. Doesn't look like much. I'm not about to start cooking frozen meat right now. I don't really eat pork, so I'm not going to be cooking sausage. We got some Eggos. Oh, pancakes. This is my sister's. Frank's in a blanket. <laughs> I found a chicken patty. Boy needs a haircut. Shout out Pop Smoke, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the V-Long. Take care of your skin. You know what I'm saying? Keep it clean, keep it smooth. Shout out to the fudge covered cookies. There is nothing like the sweet baby rays. I'm about to try something different to be honest. Where that, where that? Shoot. You know what I'm saying? Got the store brand tomato ketchup. Red hot. Frank's red hot. We don't even got much in here. I'm going to mix the red hot with the sweet baby rays for the chicken patties. How they done? Are they done yet? I don't know. Leave them in for a little bit longer. All right. And if there's one thing to know about me, chocolate milk is my favorite nighttime drink i can't sleep sometimes without drinking chocolate milk and then you know what i'm saying got the side of the uh fudge covered peanut butter filled cookies so about to make some chocolate milk grub up and then slump up or slump down i don't know what's going on family this is the next day and i'm gonna be opening my package from scent bird no i'm not sponsored scent bird Okay, this is pretty sick. It comes in its own little scent bird bag. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, shoot. Versace Euro's Flame. That smells really good. And they give you a decent amount of it, too. Yo, this smells really good. <sighs> now, I think it smells good. This smells extremely good. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. This smells good. Sadie, come here. Come here, Sadie. This is Sadie. If you don't know, now you know. Sadie, how smell? Smell it. She's too excited right now. She's in a little sweater. Come on, Sadie. Come on, here. Smell. Oh, kisses. Smell. You smell it? Here. And the review from Sadie. How's it smell? Yeah? You like it? You want another sniff? You want another sniff? How you feel about it? Tell us how you feel. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll come back to you guys with the, the rest of the review. Come on, don't be camera shy. Does it smell? Whatever. One more. She was just doing it. She was Now she's camera shy. Why are you camera shy, huh? Let me tell you, 
Today has been a great day smelling like this. It's boosting my confidence and that's not a joke. For some reason, I get hints of vanilla, but I don't think there's vanilla in there. I'm gonna have to go back on the ingredients or the notes that they've put in this cologne. When I first smelled it, I was not disappointed at all. I actually was so intrigued by it. I couldn't stop smelling it. What I see for this scent, nighttime, tuxedo on, you got a fresh fit on, fresh fit. You know what I'm saying? You dressed up, you dressed to impress, you got this cologne on. It is powerful. It's confident. It's a little spicy too. She smells this on your neck, it's game over. Might even be on the spot. Put the cologne on around five o'clock. It's about one o'clock in the morning now, and it still smells like good, like I just put it on, but very much more subtle. They gonna smell you before they see you. My overall rating out of 10, a solid nine. I'm going to buy a bottle of this. This is for like a night out. This isn't for like a, I'm gonna wake up, put this on and like do regular things. Like this isn't a regular cologne, I feel like. Like I'm going out in a tuxedo, it's a night out, maybe even going to the casino. This is like a clean, enticing, intriguing, mysterious scent. Like these are tones that I'm smelling. And it's relaxing too. I feel like this is a masculine cologne that a female would submit to. I could just be chatting right now, but this is what my feedback is, this is my opinion. Also, I'm wearing the Nike Tech. I need to do a review on Nike Tech because it's. I feel like it's hyped up. Like, trust me, I like the material, but anyways, we're not going to get into that. Let me stop myself there. But yeah, overall opinion, Versace Euros Flame from Scentbird, 9 out of 10. I recommend this if you're looking for that cologne to really, the going out cologne, like you're about to have a night out. You know what I mean? You're, you're having one of those nights out. This is for that. I'll read the description, by the way, for what the cologne actually says. Versace Euros Flame, the new men's fragrance, strikes you right through the heart. A hesperidic amber woody fragrance to make the wearer feel strong, passionate, self-confident, and very Versace. Now listen, I agree. This does strike you right through the heart. They couldn't have said that better. Shout out to Scentbird for these descriptions. I could see that. I could see the woodiness. Not like woods, like forest. But it does make the wearer feel strong, passionate, and self-confident. Like I said, this the panty dropper. She smells this on your neck. <laughs> Let's hear about it. Featured notes. Italian lemon, pink pepper, and vetiver. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I got to get into my my notes and everything. It says the fragrance fragrance family is the Fougere Warm. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these, any of these right. Opulent, opulent, sweet, and seductive. Like I said, fragrances in the Fougere Warm family start with citrus and lavender. Maybe that's where I'm getting the vanilla from. The lavender maybe, followed by a heart that features geranium, Coupled with warm, it does smell very warm. Warm spices such as cinnamon, clove, and pepper. Sensual base notes of tonka, musk, tobacco, and woods create a smooth, right, addictive, right, and creamy dry down. Like I said, there are base notes of tonka, musk, tobacco. Maybe I could smell a little of that. Cause, but this is the fragrance family. This isn't what's actually in the cologne. This is the family that it's in. It does. It is very smooth. It's, I wouldn't call it classic. I would call it sensual and addictive though, because I can't stop smelling it. I don't know how many times I've smelled this. Here's how others describe the scent. The occasion, date night, personality, trendsetter. I would agree. 
this is for a fit, a fit that you put together. And it's like, mm, I'm dripped out. I'm dressed fresh. I'm dressed to impress. I'm putting on Versace Euros Flame. And keep in mind, this isn't even a sponsorship. I'm just passionate about this. I like this a lot. And if I like something, I'm going to push it. You feel what I'm saying? Fragrance Family Spicy. Yeah. Season Fall. I could see that. But I can also see this being a winter. A winter. It's cold out. It's cold out. And this is a strong scent. Season Fall. Fall's cold. Yeah, this is perfect for fall. What am I talking about? Complexity refined. This isn't like... Oh, I'm about to be loud out here. I'm loud. I need attention. This is like suits up. Just hopped out of the Maybach. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Cullinan. Just popped out. Even in the limousine. The B you can even pop out the Beamer. This gives, this gives leather seats. I don't know why. Luxury clone. That's what I would describe it as. Refined luxury. Not loud, rambunctious none of that very very refined shout out to versace so these are the colognes that i have now i have this versace i have the dolce and gabbana light blue the aqua de gio giorgi armani the calvin klein one and then the scent bird versace flame i really love cologne i'm starting to get into them heavy especially with lotions candles other scents to really bring a mood, to set a vibe, to control the tone of what's going on, and to control my look to the complete T. Now, these are a very few selection, and with Scentbird, I plan to have more. I plan to have Scentbird give me samples, and I'm gonna find colognes that I really want to set the vibe. Like if you wanna match, for example, these red shoes you're not gonna wear with just anything. Like that's how into detail I am. I think red is a solid color. Red and tan would be very nice with this Versace Euros cologne. The light blue, I would maybe wear with something light on my feet. You know what I'm saying? These, these, if they were clean, I would wear the light blue with these. Where have you seen these? Tell me, tell me who you've seen wearing these, please. These are beautiful. This design is incredible. The animal print with the stitching, the double embroidered Nike symbol with the stitching. This is a very different shoe. Very different. Look at the Nike embossed logo on the tongue. Absolutely beautiful shoe. I would wear this with the light blue Dolce & Gabbana or even maybe the Versace. Not the Euros. I feel like the Calvin Klein would set the mood with these shoes. Thoughts? I love Scentbird already. Shout out to Scentbird for sending me this. This is not a sponsorship, but I really do appreciate that this whole thing they got going on is available. I really do. It makes it a lot easier. You don't want to go out and buy a cologne, whole bottle of it expensive, and you spray it and you don't like it. Or other people don't like it. You don't want that. This is going to help you find your signature scent. And there's going to be a lot more than you just finding your signature scent. Because that scent, what it's going to do for you, is it's going to change you. And people are going to smell you and be like, there's something about that, dude. You feel what I'm saying? So, thank you. And I don't know where else I'm going with this video. Now, 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm just chatting. Enjoy your night. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Right now, I'm cleaning up my rug. As you can see, this one looks very good. This is the driver one. You can see all the dirt is rising up from the foam. And this is the third time I sprayed it. Then we got these two beauties over here. Not too bad. You can still see there's a little bit of soap. I still have to dry them off, but damn near brand new. This is not a deep clean. This is just something light for right now till I get all the equipment because right now I'm using this very cheap tough stuff literally called tough stuff a drill that I shouldn't have in the water that's why is that in there yeah it should look like chocolate milk 
you know the driver's side gets really dirty because I'm always in and out doing Uber. Snow, rain, walking up people's lawns, muddy. Yeah, this is, I don't think any of this dirt's really coming out. Let that kind of sit in there, soak it up. I got a mustard stain in this one, it's the only issue. That was quick. Yeah, we were on the bike. That was quick as fuck. I know. When I was what the fuck? I'm hungry. Alright, go get it. photographer bro word you got like instagram or something you post these on what's your what's yo what's going on family so this is the fourth or fifth day of the vlog i should have put like clips from a car meet that i went to so hopefully you guys got to see that and i'm gonna use some of those clips for a music video if y'all don't know i have a song with chris king coming his instagram is who is chris king you might have heard him in trippy red songs such as Rack City, um, Love Scars 2, Can You Rap Like Me, and many, many other ones. He got a lot of his own songs too. I'll throw links in the description, but I got a song coming out with him that I remixed, and that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing, exciting. I'm happy for y'all, excited for y'all to hear my part. So right now I'm doing Uber. I actually gotta check to see where I'm going, so hang on. Guys, it's over. It is over. It's over. Yeah. Yep. I did that. I made a bet with my buddy John. I said, I want you to get a haircut. So to make that happen, I'll shave my head if you get a haircut and clean your look up. And truthfully, I didn't know when I was going to do it. It just kind of happened. And I'm not mad about it. You see, a major part of even pulling off a look like this is confidence. They're going to notice your confidence before they even notice the way you look.
And that's a million, one thousand percent. Because like Lil Wayne said, confidence is a stain you can't wipe off. Be true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Spend time with yourself, get comfortable with yourself, and you're not going to give a fuck what nobody thinks. For real, for real. I could get used to this look. I'm not even going to lie. I used to always have a fade, be like basically bald, egghead, whatever you want to call it, no eyebrows, whatever you want to call it. But at this point, it is what it is. And I've had people tell me, if you cut your hair, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't know if I really believe that. If you're a type of person focused on like facial facial features and surface level face value type of things you're never really going to get to know my personality or who i truly am if you're just focused on my appearance how i dress and even though that does play a big part i'm doing this for myself and for my buddy to get a haircut but for real i could really get used to this look i really need a tuxedo